Good afternoon everyone, and Wolf here with even more Final Fantasy XIV. Here we are once again, streaming live on Twitch. So, where we last left off, we were helping out one of the outcast tribes of the Naf Beastmen. And we managed to defeat their deity, the Lord of the High, Ravana. And we've made our way to a revered land, a holy land of the dragons, of the Dravanians. The area of the churning mists where humans, Ellisons, people of Ishgard, haven't set foot for over a thousand years since the dragons and Ishgardians used to work along the work side by side. Honestly, Nidhogg's probably a bit unhappy with us, considering we just uh, slew his consort, Teoman. But, uh, yeah. We're on our way now to find... Now, let me try and get this right, because I'm probably going to get it wrong again. Just... Relsfelger? It's so hard to pronounce. <laughs> Either way, we are here in search of him. Beyond the clouds. Elfano ponders the means by which you might find the Great Worm. That was a Moogle. It's interesting that the Moogles of the Twelves rode around Gridanius. They summoned their primal, their deity. King Mogulmog the Seventh, I believe his name was. But in their history, whether or not it's true or not, the Mughals escaped from heaven, where they were happy, but they had to leave. And the king remained up in heaven, but he had made like a rope to lower the rest of the Mughals down. So I wonder if this is where Mughals originally came from, because it is floating in the sky. And history does tend to get uh, corrupted over time. Etheric disturbance here. And there may be concealing magics at work. Sailors never encountered a Moogle before.
No sign of a Moogle in the area. Again, you believe concealing magics may be in use. Mountaintop Diplomacy. Alphano seems convinced that the Moogles hold a key to finding Grail's Belga. did indeed attune ourselves to the Aetherite. So, back to Gridania we go. It's been a little while. available judgment bolts and lightning oh I'm not singing why would I be singing <laughs> that's the the unlock for Ramu extreme Let's go speak to Kane Senna.
Yeah, maybe when the humans betrayed the dragons, that's when the Mughals, or some of the Mughals, descended into the Twelves were to avoid the fighting. Hmm. So not only does Kubo Clock wish to join us, but Kane Sena is going to join us as well. Which is unusual, but certainly should help with the diplomacy. Okay, and now we get to go back. To the churning mists. I had briefly forgotten about the churning mist as a separate area, which is why when, when we entered the uh, Sea of Clouds, I was wondering. No, no, it wasn't the Sea of Clouds. When we entered the Dravanian Forelands, I was wondering where Ray's Felga happened to be. Someone's keen to be switching their outfit. All I could hear was the sound of um classes being changed, or jobs being switched.
giant moogle. So we need to prove ourselves a friend to the Moogles before they're willing to speak with us further on the subject of why we're here. So we have to undergo three different trials from three of uh, Moglin's advisors. Moghan's trial. Moghan will test your trustworthiness with a trial. Foremost alchemist in Mogholm. a nether current very close by. I'm guessing it's outside. We have Mog Mug here. We would test our trust trustworthiness with a trial as well. Uh, 
and Mark Wynn. Good morning, Serenity. Hello again. piece of art for Mogwin. Is another exit to Mog Home up here. Oh, hello. Ah, Aether Current. Let us discover how many Aether Currents there are in the Churning Mists. Uh, same again. Ten and five. Ah, okay. So be it. Very well, thank you for asking, Serenity. And yourself? Oh, we should, you need to speak with Mogwin. God damn it. Okay, we'll go speak to him then. on the upper level. <laughs> You're good. Let me hear it. Any plans for your day today? Gaming, seeing the family. All good things. Oh, there's one trail complete. A Mughal masterpiece. An ordinary rock arrosh with extraordinary colour. What that colour represents, however, you cannot discern from any angle.
Uh, we'll take another strength materia, even though we're not really ever going to be using them. Not the uh, tier 4 materia, anyway. Oh, the quest has unlocked itself. Yeah, we'll probably spend a little bit of time helping the Moogles out before we go hunt down hit Rails Felger. So many places and characters in this in this expansion at least have a lot of um silent letters, which really messes me up. I can't pronounce things in the best of time, never mind when they have silent letters. Also do the same quest as we were doing it. Or we can help them out. Why not? Should be all three trials complete. I say there's still some side missions, optional missions we have yet to do back in the Dravanian Forelands, but we have now unlocked the ability to fly in that region. Cloud's breath. Lack of imagination has led to most white flowers found growing in the skybird regions of the Dravanian and Albafia to be named after clouds, this light petal specimen being no exception. Hmm, there's a slightly better lance. Looks like the peregrine. Interesting. We have a peregrine of our own now. Um, a 
take, guess we'll take the longbow. Just in case we ever do decide to... How to put this? If we ever do decide to try and level up our archer. Oh, you got a new gaming chair, Serenity. I say, sitting comfortably when you're playing games, especially for long periods of time, is really important. Years and years ago, I used to have just a simple, like, table chair, like a wooden chair, which I just would put, like, a cushion on. And I actually ended up pretty bad because of it. I actually ended up having to go to um, a chiropractor and a physiotherapist to um, help. But I've had my gaming chair for about three years now. But um, yeah, getting a decent gaming chair is really important for your like posture. We're going to do this side mission because of course it will give us one of the Aether currents we require. Mogret is in desperate need of a bath. Helps your back and your neck, yeah. A dream blooms. Mark Omo is staring longingly into the distance. Might as well pick them all up and help them all, the Moogles out a little. I mean, more quests will no doubt become available as we continue the main storyline but we'll do them as they pop up a show of devotion Mog Mog is flitting about frantically looking for someone to do his bidding So we could speak to the Mughal chieftain, but we'll do that later. We'll do these side missions first of all. And we'll sort of pop out and try and keep an eye on any Aether currents nearby. A summoning stone again. I can't remember. Oh, they are the equivalent of the Chocobo Keepers. I was wondering what that was all about. Stacks of poison on us. Oh, that's a few too many stacks of poison. That was close. We almost died there. Okay, 
Okay. One quest down. So we need to... Oh. Come on, you can do this. Slay some Hopkins to allow one of the Moogles to bathe. Pick up some horn blooms as well. Seems like there's going to be an aether current over here. Oh no, it's down there. Interesting. Okay. Awesome. Oh, that's uh. Can I jump off there? No, I can't. Oh well, if that's the case, let's um. Not. Oh, bloody hell. There you go. We'll go east first of all. At least we know, we know where that Aether Current is now. Let's see if we can locate another. One to the southeast. What the hell are those things? Oh, these are the hop ken we need to slay. I see. nearest one is the one we know about. feels uh, confident that they won't be uh, disturbed while bathing. Now to grab these horn blooms. went the long way round, but oh well. One blooms are around here somewhere. friend. Yeah, 
is deferred. Happy days. And there is an Aether current to our north here. Let's go have a quick look. large. I mean, it won't feel that way once we turn in, once we start exploring and start doing more of the missions. I guess it always feels that way when you arrive in a new area. This beautiful flower blooms only once every spring. The rest of the year, the plant is considered one of the ugliest in all the land. from the Sanctini. The thick fibrous vine of a Sanctini. New roots have already begun to shoot forth from the exposed cut. Judgment. Chief the Moglin is ready to pass judgment on your trial's performance. <laughs> Seems a uh, sail is rather taken with the air uh, moogles.
Nothing more can they have said on it. And he was the one who sat on the horn, by the way. Okay. Malkan is ready to lead you out of Malk home. The Gastinians went on ahead. Justinian is a total dick, really. When I first played this game, which was years ago now, but I, I, I've told, I've mentioned this a few times that I used to skip some of the cutscenes, and it wasn't probably the best idea. You would get the gist of what was going on, but you wouldn't get the full... Looks like it's ups, on the upper level. You wouldn't get the full gist of what's going on. And I never really caught the biting remarks of Astinian to Yasael and just to the circumstance. And Astinian always seemed one of those, like, edgy, dark, and cool characters. And of course he is that way. But I never knew just how scathing he was and how much of an asshole he could be to your companions. I suppose he, well, he does has, have his reasons. Like, we know what went on. And we know how Nidhogg's eye has um, influenced him greatly. We have Mogaleo here. 
pebble for your thoughts. Moglia is looking for someone to help him catch his dream. So he's going to purposely seek out people and, well, Google's in trouble. This is not going to go well. Well, we'll see. I wonder if it's the oh, it's not the same pebble. See, so yeah, I was wondering, it's, I wonder if it's the same pebble that we just handed over to the maestro for one of the trials. No, well, we'll be going that way eventually, but let's go speak to Mog Han and also leave Mog home. to Zenith. Morkan has volunteered to lead you to Zenith. Moxie here. Roadkill. Moxie is gazing fearfully at the road to Asa. Slave free archer souls on the way to Asa and then let someone know at the far end. Okay, we could do that.
there's another one to the northwest on that upper level. I see. Okay. We'll probably quickly skip to the east. So and then we'll as I say go to the east. Gonna go find this uh, other pebble. Leo. Back to Mogmon now and the mumbling Moogle. Before we do any of that though, we'll continue on our way to Asar.
Seems these dragons really didn't want us to meet. Didn't want us to reach us all. But we're making good progress. Uh, speaking of progress, isn't there meant to be... Yeah. I think I went past one of the Aether Currents. Oh, it's to the east, isn't it? I had a feeling I had. Once we get flying, we can unlock the rest of the map to gain just all that little bonus experience. And now I think there is one actually in a saw somewhere. There's a load of um, like ancient structures, like pillared buildings, towers like this that you can walk up. Some of them we won't be able to access until we're able to fly, of course. at level 60. We've lost the road to 60 buff again. We got enhanced strength. We got a new achievement. We can get our next Dragoon quest as well. Which, all in all, is awesome. I would like to do a level 60 Dragoon quest. We may end up doing it before we meet um, the Great Worm. Where is... Oh. Ah, hello. I am looking for you. And there is one just to the south here as well. Really? You can't jump off that? That's a bit silly. Oh well. Bigger dragons again, it seems. Sky Lords. Oh, lovely. Somewhere around here. Oh, bloody hell. one not too far away to the southwest. We might actually just go straight for Zenith's Aetherite. I know we really should just focus on the main storyline because we'd be going this way eventually anyhow. But I can be like this. <laughs> it's just like get these Aether Currents out of the way here and now while I'm motivated. We only have three more to gather. That is not many. Two after this one. And 
that's to the north. Okay, that's near Zenith. Okay, so that's a bit of a distance away. So let's go back to Asar now. We will need to go back to Mogholm for the Mumbling Moogle. But we'll try, we'll probably un get so far as we can unlock the Zenith Aetherite. And then we'll go back to the Observatorium. And hopefully Hostine, our trainee dragoon, who has been infected by the dragon blood, um, let's hope this doesn't go or uh, end badly for her. I'll go speak to this uh, Mughal merchant. Level 40 gladiator armor, level 40 gladiator armor. Level 60... Wait, have I got something better than that? I'll keep that because I'm confused. Oh, this is the custom made cur uh, curus. Yeah, okay. How's everyone doing? You mean that one? It's very likely. What was that, Estinian? That was not a biting or scathing remark? Huh. Wonders will never cease. Waiting for the wind to change. Morkan seems fretful about the weather. Seems there are a selection of quests available for us here now as well. We'll move on, as I say. I want to unlock Zenith. I would like to do the level 60 Dragoon quest. Actually, speaking of level 60, we have a whole new set of armor. Our stats have practically doubled, as has our health. I'm not keen on this armor, but I, I think there is some armor we get from the level 60 Dragoon quest. So for now, we can't use a glamour plate here anyway. Oh well. Totally forgot we had a new air armor. So item level has now jumped up to 223. Because we don't have... A second ring or a necklace at the appropriate item level. Most of our stuff is now 255.
see the damage difference. We're suddenly capable of a hell of a lot more. Jesus. And that's the difference between was we had item level 130 or item level 140 gear. This is probably not a top end level 60 gear. The level 60 gear top end gear is probably still again the items you can get from trading in your tome stones. We're not too really we're not really too far away from visiting the settlement which we could trade them in at. We could have probably rushed it. But whether or not we would have been able to gain access or then speak to the NPCs is another question.
Okay. And we're up again the following day. Heart of Ice. Morghan is gazing meaningfully at the path to Zenith. Okay, we actually need to go to Zenith now. It's directly ahead of us. We must blow the horn and summon the Great Worm. Now, do we wish to summon him first? go do our class mission. Decisions. I think we should do our class mission. Now that we've unlocked the Aether right, we can come back. to unlock the next set of armor. I'll be honest. For that, we need to do the level 60 Dragoon quests. Or quest may be singular, since it seems the next quest will get us our armor. At the very least. What we'll do about spears or lances, I'm not too sure. There are some really fancy uh, end-game weapons. I had a quick gander at them, but I'm not sure which one I would use in terms of fashion. Either way, here we are once again. A Dragoon's Fate. Sir Albrecht's jaw is set in anticipation of a confrontation. Falcon's Nest, and we're going over to the Convictors. I wonder if we can convince the Convictors to help, rather than have the Congregation of the Temple Knights and Dragoons. They may not judge her as harsh harshly. side missions we can pick up if we don't want to be using this uh, black chocobo. I'm sure there's a quest. I think it might be in Bent Branch Meadows. Or maybe it might be part of our of our grand company. So that our company chocobo will be the one carrying us around the world by a flight. I think Maggie or Magitech Armor can also do the same. 
but we need, may need to go to Revenant's Toll and speak to Slathborn about the upgrade. Okay, follow the trail of carnage and dead heretics. battle for Dragoon's fate.
This concludes the Dragoon Quests of Heaven's Ward. If we want to continue the storyline, we must have the Stormblood expansion, and we need to do the Far Edge of Fate. Once you do that, you can return to Alberic. The Dragoon Age 2. Okay, what does this armor look like? Is it better than what we're wearing? Yeah, apparently it is not. Okay. Second question then. Ah, it's item level 200. Second question is, what does it look like? Can he die this on? Ah, antiquated. I see. Ah, right, it is the armor from the cutscene, isn't it? when I get to the settlement where you can use your tombstones if I could augment this uh, hmm interesting one thing we'll check um, oh, we're gonna quickly pop our head back in the Mordona I don't think I'll be able to do anything about it there if this can be updated augmented in any way it would probably be in the next settlement where Roina has her various vendors, but just in case. Um, I'm not too sure how keen I am on it, but... Let's just see if it can be customized in any way. This is not what I need. What about this? Um, nothing there. But maybe later. I guess we'll find out later. Either way, we'll um, save this as a gear set. Um. What did I call it? Oh, Dragoon. Dragon Lancer. Dragon Lance. There you go. Okay. So. We're going to get ourselves back over to Zenith. Actually, to the Zenith, we should get ourselves over to Mogholm and hand in that quest. And while it's loading, I'm going to take a small break again. So I'm going to mute myself. In. Oh, I muted myself before I even finish my sentences. That's how eager I am. Anyhow, I'll just be a couple of minutes and then we will uh, continue. So I'll be just a moment.
Sorry about the way there, everyone. And I'm back. What are we doing here? Two more exploration, three more quest Afer currents. But we have bumped up our mount speed here, which is always awesome. We'll go help Mog Leo out, so we'll speak to this mumbling chocobo and return his uh, coloured pebble. no, well at the moment there's no Aether current quests available there, but we'll come back once we've uh, maybe unlocked our, our ability to fly here in the Churning Mists. Let's get to the top floor of Zenith, which is this way. for current somewhere nearby. Oh, I heard you. You're up on a ramp, aren't you? It's very sedate kind of sad music somewhat. Sets a scene of like just some horribles happen and people are just like reminiscing on the events. That's the impression it gives me anyway. It's above me still. one is quite far to the northeast somewhere. There's quite a lot of um, area here to the northeast. There's another path leading out of Zenith. We came from there, but it is another path heading out to the east. Twelve. 
My ears hear the tongue of dragons, yet the meaning rings clear within my mind. How can that be? Grace Velger, do you not remember me? Twas I whom you found in Dravania. I who glimpsed the truth. The truth about your past. About Shiva. But speak it I must. I have summoned Shiva's soul from the beyond and offered myself as her vessel. She has made her heart known to me. I have surrendered mine to her. Do you not see, my love? I am Shiva reborn! Than the spirit that answered me. Tenet, as any in as king, known as he saw me, she sees she. Be that as it may, Lord Hracefelga. Izel's desire to heal the rift between man and dragon is real, and it has borne us this far. We would spare both our kind and yours the ravages of this senseless war. Pray join your voice to ours in a call for peace and forgiveness. <laughs>
Your tale bears scant resemblance to the one I was taught. How convenient that it should absolve your kind of all responsibility. But tell me, dragon, why should I believe your version of events? so-called heretics. Then, the seed lies within us. to such a transformation. Looked on as a heretic assumed the shape of a dragon. I imagined it's some manner of Dravanian enchantment. But if any Ishgardian, regardless of allegiance, has such potential within them, twelve forgive us to think of all the dragons we've slain. You've been killing Ashgardians. Oft have I wondered why Nidhogg did not simply raise Ishgard to the ground. He doesn't need to. He can just wait. Now I have my answer. He has no intention of winning the Dragonsong War, for it is no war at all. But vengeance. An eternal requiem sung for his murdered sister. In ice in Drago, Ale in I have not come this far only to admit defeat. We can still return the eye to Nidhogg and beg forgiveness for our ancestors' crimes. Mayhap our words will sway him. Come. 
it seems we'll get no help from that quarter then. There we have but to kill Nidhogg now. So no gods are actually summoned upon calling upon a primal. They are called, they are created upon your version of faith. Or the people who are summoning them's faith. So there could be multiple, say, Ifrits. Depending on which tribe of Amalja summon him. If their own faith was different, but they imagined the same body to encompass it, I suppose. Interesting. Nothing's going to be stopping it hog for a while. The worm's lair. Alphano's considering your party's next course of action. Well, what do you propose we do now? I, for one, am intent on continuing to the east. What is there to be found in the east? Nidhogg. Nidhogg's lair, the airy, is said to lie in that direction. And the eye tells me he is near. You cannot still mean to slay him. You cannot still mean to stop me. I have been true to my word and aided you in this fool's errand with Hraisvulgar. But your efforts at Pali have come to naught, Lady Iceheart. I would see Ishgard saved, and for that, Nidhogg must die. With the tale of our ancestors' vile betrayal yet ringing in your ears, you speak of continuing this war? Nay, Lady. I would but pierce its vengeful heart. When Nidhogg dies, this war shall die with him. A moment, Astinian. You yourself spoke of the Great Worm's strength, that you believed him powerful enough to raise your city to the ground. How then are we few to challenge him? Even behind the stout walls of Ishgard, with an army of knights manning the defenses, our victory would be hard won. Yet you propose to contend with the beast in his own lair. In close combat, this will afford us an advantage. And with two Azure Dragoons working in unison, who can say what might be possible? Oh, he's acknowledged us. But such speculation is meaningless if we cannot even find the worm. Our first task must be to seek out Nidhogg's lair. The story of this nation grows bloodier by the moment. Must death always be answered with more of the same? Such is the way of things, I fear. I shall consider it a miracle if mine armor is not stained crimson ere this conflict is ended. That I should be blinded by my own lies. Everything I believed, everything I thought I was, gone, all gone. Leave her. Your words will not reach her now. And we have not the time to wait for her to gather up the pieces of her shattered faith.
catch up when you can, you sail. We must go in search of the Avery. Through Asa we go. Can we drop down here any chance? Yes, no, maybe. That's a shame. <laughs> really inconvenient, actually. Oh, well. Follow the road we shall. thousand damage. We are close to the final exploration Aether Current.
just need to do three more quests. To gain the ability to fly here in the churning mists. Seems this Moogle might have one of them. Waiting to inhale. The Moogle on the watchtower is cradling her rumbling turry, tummy. Interesting outfit. Actually, the colours go really quite well. Is that it? through the eye, his caustic hatred gnawing at my soul. Twould seem the death of his consort has put him on guard. Mark how he wards his lair with tempestuous winds. A similar barrier once barred our entrance to the primal Garuda's domain, until we discovered the means by which it could be penetrated. Is that? Mayhap it is time we called upon Master Garland. It will be just like the good old days, no? Was that Estonian smiling? It seems we need to go um, back to Ishgard then. Garland's ironworks are helping upgrade and repair the protector, weren't they? some new quests including hide your moogles which looks like it may be that might be a beast tribe quest actually not an aether current quest new wins old friends Estinian would have you enlist the aid of Sid Garland find out. Yeah, I'd rather do an Aether Current quest. But we can but we can but can but find out. Whoa. 
wandering Moogle. Oh no, it is the Apricorn quest. This Moogle is scouring every nook and cranny in Zenith. <laughs> well, that could have been very awkward. One more Ava current to pick up here in the Churning Mist, and then we'll have flight here in this region. We'll keep an eye out for it, because we'll probably do the side missions once we gain flight. But, um, back to Ishgard we go. We actually are bound to the Foundation. Let's see what the situation is. I can fly, unlock something. Interesting. So while Alphano is here, let's go and um, see what this is all about. Onu Lane believes your chocobo capable of reaching still greater heights.
see. So this is how our company chocobo can be used rather than the black chocobo to fly. We need to go to Tailfeather to learn how to do it though. At some point we will be travelling to Tailfeather once again. Speak to the the uh, the younger son of Count Edmont. And he is actually in the manor. over to the manufactory I believe or is it the astrologian yeah it's astrologian oh, we might as well take a walk there well a sprint it's not too far away no quests up here in the pillars What have they been designing?
eyes upon our latest and greatest feat of engineering. We call it a mana cutter. After you put down Gaius, Wedge and me struck out on our own for a bit and started work on the successor to the tiny Bronco. Impressive little thing, isn't she? My talent for ship design has plainly rubbed off on them. They've adapted the principles of corrupted crystal technology and constructed a mechanism which converts ether from its surroundings into elemental wind. Said wind is then harnessed by the specially engineered sails, providing the craft with propulsion and lift. All in all, a most elegant solution. I'm actually a little upset that I didn't think of it myself. The design does, however, come with one small flaw. The energy conversion ratio is bloody awful. To generate enough power to get you off the ground, you need to be in an area awash with predominantly wind-aspected ether. In other words, there are a few places you can fly, lots of places you can't. The new Ishgardian airship hasn't left the boys much time for tinkering, meaning it may be a while before this particular project takes off, if you'll forgive the pun. What's happened? I've been looking all over for you. There's been word from Alda. It's about Her Grace the Sultana. It seems you're required elsewhere. Leave the mana cutter with us. We'll see that she's airworthy and suitably equipped to slice through those winds. Mistinian will just have to, um... You, meanwhile, should concentrate on providing Raoban and the Sultana whatever help they need. Yeah, so you're just gonna have to sit down and uh, get comfortable. Are we really gonna be going back to Ulda? Because that could be awkward for us. Mine, of course, are apparent crimes have not been made public, so officially we could step around there. A general summons. Tataru has news for you from Uldar. Before we go to the Wicked Sands, then let's head over to Tail Feather. See what it is we can do to give our company Chocobo flight. straightforward. We need to slay some Dravanian V clouds with Camry alongside us.
Oh yeah, I totally forgot we have this skill now. <laughs> the other uh, line of AoE ability that we have. Can only be executed while under the effect of blood of the dragon. Tailfeather and Falcon's Nest. I see. There's more quests to assist the uh, dragons now in the Annex Shrine. I mean, this is worthwhile doing because eventually you can die your chocobo. You can give it different um, barding. I mean, there's a lot of other mounts, some of which are capable of flight, but it's always nice to um, customize your own chocobo. fly to the highest point here. Just across from Camp Rivers Meet. Once again. Piece of boarding. Camry has learned to fly. So, one more thing before we head over to the Waking Sands. gonna head over to Ben Ben Branch Meadows. Ah, there 
is a quest. But we've yet to do it. It's yet to become available to us. Why is that? I think we've had a look at this before. Right, okay. I need to own an estate. Which means we need to get to second lieutenant, which means we need more company seals. And to probably do the second rank for the immortal flames. Right, okay. That's fine. We know what steps we need to take. We are going to take a break though. Take another break. When we come back, we'll speak to uh, General Rauban. See what the situation is. Seemingly he may have located where the Sultana happens to be. I'm guessing she's being held by Lord Lollorito. Oh, placed to one side for safety. Quote unquote. Anyways though, as I say, we'll take a break. And when I come back, we'll continue with the main storyline. And perhaps we'll um, finally get to meet Nidhogg in the uh, scaly flesh, as it were. But, again, this has been Anforth. I hope you've all enjoyed here on Twitch. And I will see you all again, obviously, probably in a few hours once I've taken another break. But I will get this again exported over to YouTube for anyone who has an interest in just watching it as and when they can. And, yeah, I'll see you all for more next time. Until then, no. Bye-bye now.